Welcome to episode number seven of Keep On Painting. I'm very excited about this episode. We got a very large painting that I have a, a cool time lapse of. I'm also going to share with you my five favorite uh, art channels or instructional videos that you can use to get psyched up or pumped up to ready to paint, I guess. So let's start the time lapse. This painting is a big one. It's 58 inches by 48 inches. It's one of the bigger time lapses I've tried to do. It's also uh, a painting that I've done several smaller versions of, so I've kind of worked out all the problems with it and uh, figured out how to do it so it'll go nice and quick and all I can keep the paint wet while I do it. And so, yeah, and when it's done, it's going to Scottsdale, Arizona. While this time lapse is unfolding, I'm going to tell you my top five favorite art videos. I was into BMX and trail riding and skateboarding as a kid. And something we would do is we would watch videos of other bike riders and skateboarders to get kind of psyched up to go out and try new things. And so that's kind of what I'm doing with this, these art videos is these are videos that I kind of like to watch to kind of get me psyched up to come out here to the studio, try something new, and just, you know, be kind of an energy build, I guess you would say. So starting with number five. Number five is Hennessy Youngman. Now, you might be looking at some of these pictures right now and saying, this guy looks like a clown. Like, why does he want me to watch these videos? So this guy, he's actually a pretty successful artist. And he plays this character. His real name is Jason Munson. But he plays this character that's kind of this uh, art critic and cultural critic, I guess you would say. And the whole time he's kind of calling out the phonies like Damien Hirst and Jeff Koons. And, and he's kind of making fun of all these kind of contemporary artists. But at the same time, like this whole time... He's talking in sort of this crazy street language, but he's dropping these obscure art references like the guy really knows his art history. And he, you know, he's like dropping like Brancusi and Yves Tanguy and all this stuff. And at the same time, he's doing it in this street language, you know, and it's, they're pretty awesome. He's won a bunch of awards. One of the videos is him giving a talk. I think it's at the Chicago Art Institute. It's pretty awesome. It's on kind of contemporary art and the state of things. I highly recommend the videos. I'll make sure links to all these videos are in the description. Number four. Uh, anything by Robert Hughes is awesome. Robert Hughes, he was a longtime art critic for Time Magazine. And he was kind of this gnarly grouchy bitter he was kind of he was he was he wanted to be an artist but he ended up being an art critic and so yeah a lot of his reviews are kind of grouchy and and they're just awesome wrote a really good book called uh nothing if not critical and in it he kind of tears apart a lot of artists like uh he doesn't like warhol he said uh, he said uh, Andy Warhol was one of the dumbest people he'd ever met, and he uh, 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 he hated the uh, Julian Schnabel, and there's some really good stuff uh, of him tearing apart Julian Schnabel. He did this huge series. It's like 20 hours on uh, PBS, and it was uh, the Shock Shock of the New, which is also a good book. It was a cool TV series. It was kind of the history of art. And uh, there's an older version done in the 70s. And then there was a newer version that he did like just before he died. They're, they're both pretty awesome. Again, link in the description. Number three. So I had two videos that I kind of tied them for number three. They're both really well-made uh, YouTube channels. And so there's tons of videos for, for both of these. One of them is by a young artist named Slew, S-L-E-W, and they're really well-made well videos, and they're pretty awesome. Just, you're getting to see a young artist who's chronicling his growth as an artist, and they're pretty cool. They're just really well-made. 
he kind of goes through everything from stretching canvas to how he paints a painting. And he kind of has this cool street uh, mural graffiti type style. Also, the, the other one that it tied with is a, a, an art channel called Art Assignment. And it's hosted by this uh, young woman named Sarah Green. And she loves art. And she's a, just a wealth of knowledge about artists and, and art history. And this is a web series that it, it was developed with uh, in a partnership with PBS. And it's been on like 10 years. And so there's, there's probably over 100 episodes, I'm sure, hundreds of episodes. And they're just super cool, really well done, very thorough, different, tons of different subjects and topics. They're also, she was the curator for the Indianapolis Museum of Art. Number two, I'm a little bit partial here. Number two is the original episode of Keep On Painting. You know, yeah, it's ridiculous, and yeah, it's pretty stupid, and yeah, it's old but you know it was from a time in phoenix when the art scene was just super fun and cool and there were just a lot of great artists who were figuring out their way in the art world and it was just a really good time and so yeah i i highly recommend it it's also from a time before youtube when public access meant something you know and anyhow there's a link in the description Okay, and number one, the number one art video to get inspired by is the OG himself, Bob Ross. Say what you want. I, I don't care. I won't hear it. Bob Ross is the best. It, he inspired tens of thousands of people to start painting. He was the best, you know. There's an awesome documentary. I'll put the link in the bottom. It's a New York Times piece about where are all the Bob Ross paintings? He did over a thousand paintings for his TV show and they were all kept together. It's pretty amazing. It's a pretty awesome story. He was a, a pretty amazing guy. He was a master sergeant in the military for 20 years. And during that time, he would have meal breaks and he would go out and he would do these fast little paintings during his breaks. And then once he got out of the military, he started the TV show on how to do these fast little paintings, and that was it. So, so yeah, he gets the number one spot, and uh, yeah, that's that. Let me know what your favorite paintings are. I want to see them, and uh, let me know about them. I enjoyed doing this. This was a pretty good time, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Let me know if you did or not. Back to the time lapse. The time lapse is looking great. I like all the drama in it. It's a nice high contrast painting. Uh, it's also a vertical landscape, which their vertical landscapes sell well. I don't know why that is. Maybe because there's not a lot of competition because most of your landscapes are horizontals. But for some reason, there seems to be a great demand for vertical landscapes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you'll check out those other videos that I recommended and enjoy them. Let me know your favorites. Thanks for watching. Keep on painting. See you next week. Sometimes I feel like a lizard in a tin box. Sometimes it's just like being in a tin box. Like a lizard in a tin box.